Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here and this video is how to jailbreak the new 2.2.1 firmware for your iPhone 1st gen, iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 1st gen. Now, I will be showing you this video with my iPhone 1st gen and we will jailbreak and unlock with this device and on the way I will show you how to apply this to your iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 1st gen. Now, the iPhone 3G jailbreak comes with a warning. If you rely on yellow snow, uh, which is the soft unlock for the SIM card, do not attempt this. This jailbreak is only for people that have the legit SIM cards. So in the UK that means you have the O2 SIM card and in the US you have the AT&T. If you do not have those SIM cards, do not attempt to update to 2.2.1 and jailbreak. Okay, stick to 2.2 uh, till further notice. Again, this works with the iPod Touch 1st gen, um, and unfortunately still there is no jailbreak for the 2nd gen guys, so do not attempt this on your iPod Touch 2nd gen. Now, the first thing you must do is already have plugged your device into your PC and done the update via iTunes, okay? So you've already plugged it in, you've already either restored or updated through iTunes to 2.2.1. Now you will come to this stage where your iPhone or iPod Touch is plugged in. You're already running on 2.2.1. And just to save a bit of time, I've downloaded the necessary items. All the goodies, all the downloads are in the video description. So over here where it says please read, click more info. You will have the download for the new modded version of Quickpone. You will have all the iPhone, uh, iPhone and iPod Touch firmwares. And... Only for the iPhone 1st gen you will have the bin files which unlock your iPhone 1st gen. Okay, so let's get started. So we want to open up the folder and we want to open the QuickPone. Okay, so once we're on the start screen we want to click next and it will automatically detect your device. In this instance it's the iPhone 1st gen. Okay, now in some cases it will automatically detect the uh, firmware as well but unfortunately this time it hasn't so we need to search for the firmware which is saved to the desktop. And there is a bomb. So I'm going to add that. It's going to tick when it's happy. Okay, and we can click next. Now, note, for the iPhone 1st gen, you will get the unlock option. You will not get this option on the iPhone 3G, and you will not get this option on the iPod Touch 1st gen, of course. Okay, so I'm going to re uh, replace my boot logos, and I'm going to choose to unlock my iPhone 1st gen. Again, you will not get this option on the iPod Touch 1st gen, and you will not get this up option on the iPhone 3G only on the iPhone 1st gen, okay? And of course make sure that Adsidia and Installer are ticked. Although I'm a, bit in, I'm, a, I'm a bit disappointed with Installer to be fair, so I'm just going with Cydia. Um, right, this is the unlock, so we need to uh, replace the bootloader files. So of course we need to browse and scroll and find the bin files, so 39 goes in 39. And of course, 46 goes in 46. Okay. Click next when we're ready. Now, the next stage is going to be booting my iPhone into uh, DFU mode. So it's going to give me instructions. Uh, so I'm going to click next. And I'm going to put the camera down. And you can see there that my iPhone is booting up into. DFU mode and it will give me instructions so I must hold down the home button for five seconds home button and power button for ten seconds release the power button and keep my thumb on the home button.
and as you can see there it's reading it Okay, so once it's reached this stage, I can let go of the home button and let it do its thing. And you can see there it was giving me clear instructions on how to set my iPhone into DFU, DFU mode. So you can see there it was saying hold down home button uh, for 5 seconds, hold down home button and power button for 10 seconds and then finally release the power button and hold down the ho uh, home button for 30 seconds and then of course QuickPone does the rest. Very straightforward, very simple. So big shout out to the dev team for a very user friendly jailbreak. And again guys, as soon as the iPod Touch 2nd gen jailbreak comes out, I will keep you posted. As soon as I get that, I will have the video out for that again. Just like this, on a nice and easy step-by-step -step guide. So just keep coming back to the channel. Uh, you can also keep tabs on it by going to the dev team's uh, blog as well. I always cut it fine with these videos guys, I'm coming up to the, uh, the 10 minute mark. Guys don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe, it's your boy D7 as always. And when you see this screen it's just unlocking. And there you can see, I have the pineapple logo. And there you go guys. Jailbroken City Art Installer on 2.2.1 and unlocked on the iPhone first gen. Okay guys, keep posted. It's your boy D7. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.